Joining me now is Vaughn Gregian, who resigned from UPenn's Board of Trustees back in October. Vaughn, um, why did you resign? Well, you know, Laura, I, um, I served since 2009, and over that period of time, I found that at every turn, the board was just a rubber stamp to the chairman of the board, and that they really never disagreed, that every vote was unanimous. And when it came to this controversy, um, I was appalled by the lack of response by the president of the university and, you know, sought to have my fellow board members speak up uh, along with me and say something that um, would put her in a position to have to um, change her views and do something. But well, I you was see the told by yeah. my board members uh, go to ahead, stay sorry. on the board and wait for an emergency meeting that was called, uh, which I did. And I found that at that meeting, it was just the same old, same old. So I quit um, on the basis that if I stayed, I would be under a fiduciary responsibility to not disclose what went on at the board. And as an outside person, I can now speak out against the, the um, horrible things that have been going on at the university and to call for the resignation of the board president and chair. Do you agree with Bill Ackman that these presidents who testified on Capitol Hill yesterday who couldn't answer simple questions, they had an utter disdain for the, the congressional inquiry, um, they couldn't ask, answer simple questions. Should they resign? Well, I can tell you this, Laura, that there is no, no context in which the, you know, the genocide of the Jewish people can be condoned. It's nothing more than harassment and hateful and malicious uh, talk. And, you know, it cannot be condoned, unlike with the, the position of the university presidents. And it's certainly not conducive to learning for the poor students who, you know, attend colleges and universities um, that were displayed in uh, Congress yesterday. Well, kids are waiting to hear now and who to applied to colleges. Point, yeah, yeah. I'm oh, sorry, we have a delay here. But let me, point, let me let me just let me sorry. Let me just let me, kids are waiting to hear right now who applied early from a lot of these schools, um, whether they've been admitted or not early. And I think there's a lot of angst out there among kids. They're like, oh, am I going to get into these schools? What do you say to them about the the, the process, given what's happening on campus now? Where should they be putting their focus? On the places they go or what they do once they're there? Well, to be patently honest with you, you know, as I had indicated to before, to bolster that point, the Anti-Defamation League did a study, and, they can, and in the study of the Jewish students on American colleges, they concluded that more than half don't feel safe on their college or university campus. And 75 percent of those kids feel— uh, that they have been involved in or have witnessed an act of anti-Semitism. So if you're the parent of a Jewish student in the ninth, 10th or 11th grade, you certainly wouldn't want to send your kid to any one of those universities. And Vaughn, what do you say to the board members of these universities, MIT, Harvard, UPenn, NYU, um, that are, again, they're, they're rubber stamping whatever the administration is doing. There's very few voices of, of courage. Yours was one um, in these board scenarios. What do you say to them today? It's time to step up and be counted and not just serve on these boards to just have a prestigious thing to put on your resume uh, or so that you can tell your friends that I'm on the board of Harvard or Penn or whatever. It's time to actually be a working trustee and to speak up when things aren't right and not rubber stamp, you know, what goes on. Just because the chairman of the board says it's the thing to do or the president says it's the thing to do, in your heart, if you know it's wrong, you need to step up and say that it's the wrong thing. Well, I note that you're an entrepreneur and entrepreneurs tend to have a lot more courage than corporate CEOs. Vaughn, 
thank you so much for speaking out. I hope to talk with you again soon. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.